for our last round now, General Knowledge. Plenty of points at stake, but it's one point for the correct answer, one point uh, off your total for the wrong answer. It's rapid fire questioning. And so that we can keep up to date with what's happening as we reach the climax of the show, let us now fade in your totals to the scoreboards behind you. And we shall go straight with the first question. Press the buzzer when you know the answer. What does the name of the Russian newspaper Pravda mean in English? Hugh Crouch. It means truth. Truth. One point to you. Beauty is truth. Truth, beauty. Which English poet wrote that? Graham Roberts. Tom Keats. Correct. One point to you. Skeet is a kind of sport. What kind? Roy Anstis. Shooting. You have to be more specific. Clay Pigeon Shooting. Correct. One point. Who wrote the Clayhanger trilogy? Graham Roberts. Final Bennett. Correct. One point. Bennett, Miller, Cook and Moore appeared in what review together in London in... Graham Roberts interrupts. Beyond the Fringe. Beyond the Fringe. One point to you. A fringe can also be a hairstyle. In which of Pope's poems does a lady called Belinda lose some of her hair? Graham Roberts. Live the lock. Correct. One point. What two things must be added to the lock to complete both the idiom and the firearm? Roy Anstis. Fleet. I want two things. Can't take that. Stock and barrel is the correct answer. One point off your score. What is a maker of wooden barrels called? Roy Anstis. A cooper. Correct. One point. What kind of headgear does Tommy Cooper wear in his act? Roy Anstis. A fez. Correct. One point. Which country banned the wearing of the fez in 1920, interrupted by Roy Anstis? Turkey. Correct, one point. What, in nautical terms, is a Turk's head? Graham Roberts. A knot. An ornamental knot, correct. A knot is, amongst other things, the name of a living creature. What kind? The answer is a bird. The birds had a hit record in 1965 with a song written by Bob Dylan. What was it? Pauline mm -hmm. Bansler. Tambourine Man. Tambourine Man, correct. One point. Which man's nickname was Fizz? Graham Roberts. Illustrator Dickens. Uh, wrong Hablock Knight Baran. In what Shakespearean play does Baran appear? Or Baron? Graham Roberts. Last Labour Last. Correct. One point. Labour Day is a public holiday in the US and Canada. In what month is it? Answer is September. What is a septum in anatomy and interrupted by Roy Anstis? It's the cartilage that divides the nose into two separate nostrils. Correct. One point. The parting of the Red Sea occurs in which book of the Bible? Graham Roberts. Exodus. Correct. One point. An X film cannot be seen legally by anyone under what age? Hugh Price. 18. 18 is correct. One point to you. And that's the end of the contest, which means that our winner tonight is Hugh Crouch with a Krypton Factor of 30. <laughs> so our congratulations to him. Hard luck indeed to Graham Roberts, who pushed hard in that last round. In fact, he gave us an answer that the illustrator of Dickens, which was correct, I took a point from him, but he didn't give us the name. We can put a point back on. He was second, but Hugh Crouch is the winner. He goes through to our semi-final. We're back next week at 7 o'clock.